What is up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to do some groceries. I'm going to show you exactly which groceries I'm going to get. And these groceries are essential in terms of fitness, in terms of getting lean. Um, either you're bulking or cutting, um, these are the most important uh, groceries in order to get results. So I'm going to show you guys all the essential groceries that you need to get shredded, to get lean, whatever. So um, I'm going to the Aldi, which is a uh, cheaper uh, supermarket here in the Netherlands. I like to go there because it's a bit cheaper. So um, I'm going to drink a lot more water today uh, because yesterday I didn't drink that much water. So um, I like to have a huge, huge uh, drink, as you can see here, a lot of water. I got some energy, so um, I'm uh, going faster today. I'm going to do some uh, fasted cardio and also going to do fast groceries. So um, we're now going to the Aldi, let's go. Okay guys, breakfast from the Aldi and it actually cost me 50 euros, which isn't a lot of money considering I also bought a lot of extras. So of course, strawberries are very expensive and um, natural peanut butter is also very expensive. I also bought uh, one jar of peanut butter, which is really expensive. Let me look on this uh, receipt. Actually, everything was at around one euros, which isn't a lot of money. But um, the most expensive stuff was the chicken, of course. It was 500 grams of chicken, which was 3 euro 80. Um, the peanut butter, which is a mixture of different peanuts. The natural peanut butter was also very expensive, around 3 euros. But um, it's natural, so of course it's a lot more money. And uh, apples, the pink lady apples, which are my personal favorite apples, are very delicious but also very expensive. These pink lady apples cost around 3 euros. But other than that, everything was quite cheap. Um, everything was at around 1 euro, so not a lot of money. A lot of people say when you do fitness, you'll uh, have to eat a lot of stuff and you have to buy a lot of things which are very... Um, expensive but actually it isn't that expensive especially if you are meal prepping so let's say I'm having this rice right here this was around 1 euro and this is 1 kg of rice so that's a lot of rice and um, you can make a lot of um, meals with that rice uh, also also the chicken you can buy in bulk which saves you money and actually I bu bought this pre-cut uh, veggies but if you are going to cut your veggies yourself, it also saves you a lot of money. But I like these because um, it saves me time. I don't have to cut the veggies. I can just throw them in the pan and be done with it. And uh, yeah, it saves me time. That is why I'm buying these in a bag. But if you want to save money, you can also um, uh, cut the um, veggies yourself. This saves you a lot of money. Anyways guys, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of all the essentials which you'll need in order to get lean or get shredded or get big or get more muscle. So um, I'm going to show you guys all the stuff I bought. So let's get started. Obviously you need some rice. So as I said before, I bought 1 kg of rice. Um, this is um, whole grain rice, so it has a lot of fiber. Um, I don't recommend normal rice because it won't be as fulfilling as this rice. So especially if you are cutting, I really recommend to have whole wheat rice. It really gives you a much more saturated feeling and um, yeah, you'll be much less hungry during the day. And of course, we also have some chicken right here. Um, I like to buy these in bulk. Um, I didn't buy a lot of chicken today because I already have a lot of chicken meals in the fridge and in the freezer. So I only bought 500 grams. Normally I buy 1 kg. Of course, a great source of protein. So um, yeah, definitely recommend it. You can also have some fish or um, lean beef 
um, but I like to have some chicken because it's really easy. Secondly, some veggies. Veggies are of course very important because of the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, all that stuff. I definitely recommend to eat a lot of veggies. It really fills your stomach up. It really is, it's really fulfilling and um, feel much better eating a lot of veggies. Well, I didn't buy any sauces, but if you want to have some sauces in your rice, I uh, advise some soy sauce or some ketchup sauce because they don't have a lot of calories and they don't have a lot of fats. So definitely recommend those sauces. Um, I have a different video on my channel. In that video, I will show you guys exactly how to prepare chicken. And um, I'm also showing you guys which sauces I use. So uh, definitely watch that video. But if you want to use sauces for your chicken or for your rice, definitely use some low calorie sauces like soy sauce or ketchup sauce. Okay, so next up, some tuna, some canned tuna. Of course, you can buy this in olive oil or in water. Of course, water is a bit more healthy, but uh, the taste with olive oil is a lot better. You should choose for yourself which one you want. I like to have normal tuna, but I also like to have some olive oil uh, from time to time. So um, this is a very cheap source of protein. This one has 150 grams of tuna, which is a lot of protein. Yeah, this is around 26 grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein. And it really is not that expensive. If you are a student or um, you don't have a lot of money, then I definitely recommend to buy a lot of tuna because this has a lot of protein and really saves you a lot of money. Okay guys, another source of protein, some sliced uh, chicken filet, great for on bread or on rice crackers. Um, really easy, really cheap and a, a great source of protein as well. And of course, the skier natural yogurt, a great source of protein as well. Uh, this has 11 grams of protein per 100 grams. So that's a lot of protein. And it's actually funny because at the Aldi they sell these as well, but the, the package of this one is different. But it actually has two calories less and a bit more protein. So I think that's very funny. Um, when you are in a grocery store, you always think that the more expensive one is better. That's actually not true. This one has two calories less and it's also um, cheaper. So. Don't always look at the prices, they don't tell you everything about the quality of the product. Just look at the package and maybe you'll be surprised. I like to have this in the evening, um, some yogurt, you can have this with some fruit or um, with some flavor drops, which I personally really like. And uh, this is a great snack to have before you go to bed. So yeah, great source of protein as well. And of course, I also have a recipe video about this, but oatmeal is very, very, very good for having a lot of fiber. It also has some vitamins which a lot of people don't know. So this is very good to have in the morning as breakfast and um, I really like it because it really uh, gives me a full feeling and uh, it really reduces my hunger. So great um, source of fiber and a great meal, oatmeal. And of course some almond milk, great to have as breakfast with your oatmeal and also great to put through your protein drinks or maybe you'll have a smoothie. Then you can also use some almond milk. Why almond milk? Because it's natural, because it has less calories and um, yeah, it doesn't have any added sugar. So great, great drink and great for having this with your breakfast, oatmeal, or great with a protein drink or great with a smoothie. Okay guys, now the fruits. Now an apple, of course an apple has a lot of fiber. I really love strawberries, so I bought some strawberries. I really like to put these through my oatmeal, um, some banana. Uh, a lot of vitamins here, um, great source. Um, it has a bit more calories than most fruits, so be careful with bananas. Uh, but if you check your calories, you already know that. So just be careful with bananas. I don't recommend to have more than three bananas at a day, but if you are um, a vegan, you can of course have some more bananas uh, because it's a great carb source. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of vitamins and minerals, so definitely recommend to eat some bananas. And of course some frozen fruit, very easy, saves you time, and it's great to put through your oatmeal or through a smoothie. And in the evening, I really like to have some snacks, and these rice crackers are very great to have a snack. You can, put some, um, you can put some chicken on it or some jam or some peanut butter. It's a great snack. And these are whole grain actually, so they have a lot more fiber. I definitely recommend that because it fills you up a lot more. Another great carb source, some uh, potato wedges. Great to have these with some veggies and with some protein. So a great carb source, some potatoes. Okay, now we're going to talk about some uh, healthy fats. So of course the natural peanut butter is a great uh, fat source. Great to put this through your oatmeal, 
great to have this with some rice crackers so i definitely recommend to have some natural peanut butter i also have some pesto this is very nice with some pasta and um, i really like to have some tuna with some spaghetti and i like to have some pesto through there for some healthy fats and of course the dark chocolate so this is uh, dark chocolate which is, which is 85% cacao so a uh, great fat source and uh, really delicious of course and last but not least some more healthy fats some peanuts um, cashews and peanuts so uh, great fat source and really delicious So yeah guys, these were the essential groceries which you will definitely need in order to get results, in order to get lean or get big or get more muscle. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something from it and uh, please give it a like, please give it a thumbs up, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video as well. So guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys, see you in the next video.